Good morning students. Today you will learn about respiration in plants. All the organisms in the world respires whether it is an animal or a plant. Plants also take in oxygen from the air and give out carbon dioxide. They also break down glucose into carbon dioxide and water and release energy to perform other functions. The respiration in plants differ from the animals because in plants respiration occurs through leaves and roots etc they carry out respiration independently that is each plant part can independently take in oxygen from the air utilize it to obtain energy and give out carbon dioxide so let's read respiration in leaves the leaves of the plant have tiny pores on their surface which are called stomata. The exchange of gases that is oxygen and carbon dioxide in the leaves takes place through stomata during respiration. The oxygen from air enters into a leaf through stomata and reaches inside all the cells of the leaf through diffusion while carbon dioxide produced during respiration also diffuses from the leaf to the atmosphere through the stomata. So here the diagram you can see respiration in leaves, the stomata pore how guarded by the guard cells when magnified stomata how it looks in the leaf. Respiration in roots. Root cells of the plants respire under the ground. They also need oxygen to carry out respiration and releases energy for their own use. Root cells get oxygen from the air present in the spaces between the soil particles. Plant roots have a large number of tiny hairs on them which are called root hairs. Oxygen from the air present in soil particles diffuses into root hairs and reaches to the cells of the root where it is utilized for respiration. So you can see the diagram respiration in plant roots which is also there in your book figure 10.11. You can see the soil particles, the root hairs and the air space having air in the soil. Exchange of gases. So the exchange of gases takes place in the plants all the time but it is increased during daytime. The, because the leaves are more actively involved in photosynthesis during the daytime in the presence of sunlight. The carbon dioxide released during respiration is utilized by the plants during photosynthesis to produce its food. During photosynthesis, the oxygen is released by plants which are taken up during respiration in plants. Therefore, a balance between Carbon dioxide and oxygen is maintained by the plants. Respiration thus provides continuous energy to plants to perform all its functions regardless of time. So you can see here the plant showing intake and release of oxygen and carbon dioxide during photosynthesis and respiration. So in plants both the processes go side by side. Photosynthesis takes place during the daytime and respiration takes place day and night. So during photosynthesis plants take in carbon dioxide and give release oxygen and during respiration it takes in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. As a result the carbon dioxide and oxygen balance could be maintained in the atmosphere. I hope you all have understood the lesson. So that's all for today. Thank you.